Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Wednesdays. What's sold mostly on eBay? <laughs> Right, everybody. We Hi. are. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna say it. As I was pulling this stuff to get ready for shipment today, I noticed, I noticed some things that I know you're gonna want to talk about. Okay. I don't know what he's about to say, y'all. We're ready. Ready. Go. Go. I thought you were gonna talk about it. No, I mean, it's just a lot of the stuff we're selling is what we've been talking about recently, and listing a lot of. So. If you list it. It might sell. That's true. If you don't list it, it will not sell. Absolutely not, no. We're here to bring you some very prolific thoughts. Okay. (laughs) We are uh, full-time resellers in Dallas, Texas. If you're new here, welcome. We have a bunch of new people. We love you already. Yes, we do. We have a very active Facebook group called the Hustle Couple Reseller Workroom. It's free and helpful and nice. If you'd like to go ask questions over there. Nice. We also list live on another channel called the Reseller Workroom every single night from 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard time monday through thursday there you go you can watch those on replay i know some people don't know this so if you need like a helper during your day like you need a three hour block where you need to get things done yeah put it on do it i'm very entertaining sometimes (laughs) not often more than sometimes Mm, he's being nice anyway we do get work done there i find it motivating to watch other people work Uh, all right We're going to start with Poshmark. We had one sale there, and And it's Magically Retail Arbitrage. Yeah! We sometimes do, if we just happen to be somewhere and there's happened to be a deal, and then we happen to buy it. This is a Madewell sweater. I actually own it. You've seen me wear it many times. Yes, it's a big, chunky one with the buttons. I bought it for myself, but then I also bought this one in an extra large, and the market was flooded, but we just waited. It was fine. Fine, I tell you. You just have to wait a little bit. Exactly, wait a while. exactly. It sold for forty-five dollars, and okay. we paid five for it, I believe. Um, or two forty-nine. No, six. 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 Six bucks. Actually, it hasn't been listed that long. April listed this one, so I think it was listed in uh, January. That is correct. Sweet. A couple months to sell. Happy to get sweaters out right yeah. now. I mean, we list stuff all year long, but I'm really, really happy to get sweaters out. Uh, let me get people caught up. We use a platform exten- Chrome extension. That's what it's called, uh, Vendu. And we put all of our inventory there. We cross this to Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And we just did a buyout of an estate sale. An entire buyout, our whole conversion van, cargo van, whatever you want to call it, is full of 1,500 plus items of mature women's clothing and shoes. Oh, yeah. So that's what we've been listing every night, and you're going to see that in what we sold, which is good because we're listing things and it's selling. Yeah. We are doing a bit of a price decrease recently, and I think we should be really transparent about that because I know sales for some of you are very slow. We had like a come to Buddha moment, like <laughs> what was it last week? Ooh, we had two days where he like didn't sell anything. Yeah. Today we're shipping out 15 things, and yesterday we didn't make a video, but we did ship out 15 things yesterday as well. Yeah, so it's been good. Um, Lower dollar though. Yeah. I must say that. Yeah. You're gonna see. Uh, normally we can get like 40 bucks for the things we're selling, and we're getting like 30 or 28. I'm saying because yeah. we're doing a 25 percent off sale. We're being a more aggressive. Well, we got a lot sale. of stuff, and and we work in a little closet, so we can only fit so much. So yeah. we got to move inventory, and I'm really happy that it's moving. Let's go to eBay. Let's do it. First thing, these just sold, like as in minutes ago. Yep. They are Lafayette 148. Uh, they're the menswear pants. I want to talk about these pants. Okay. Uh, our channel is an education channel, so if you're here to learn, lovely, leave a comment down below, thumbs up. That'd be great. And we talk about styles and we talk about fabric a lot. Okay. This style of pant, if you need any information on Lafayette 148 pant, there's always the style guide below that I made in Google. It's really rudimentary, but it helps. This is the menswear pant. And I want to tell you, it is not menswear. So many of these, if you want free Lafayette, go to men's category, type in Lafayette 148. That's a hot tip. (laughs) Hot tip. Because it's called menswear, and in the newer Lafayettes, it says menswear. It 
tis not menswear. It's the style of the pant. Yes. This is a wool pant, I can tell already. It's got a little bit of a sheen to, to it, and we call that a polished wool. Sometimes we get some info down here. Mm. Oh, like Give me some info. Oh my gosh, something's in my nose. <laughs> we installed a dishwasher 70 today. 8% virgin wool, 20% silk, 2% elastane. Okay, let's have a lesson on virgin wool right now. Uh, that is wool that still has the original oils on it, and that's why it looks polished. Okay. Silk on its own, it has a little sheen to it, but the virgin yeah. wool really shines, and I mean really. So this pant is decadent. It almost looks like a shark, uh, you know, shark tooth suit. It's not. But it almost shark skin. Star shark skin. <laughs> and, um... This is, these are really great pants. They're a lightweight wool. The menswear line is supposed to emulate menswear. So it looks kind of like men's suit pants. Yeah. The bar and clasp uh, closure. They're a little bit wider leg. It's a cool cut. Um, they sold for $40. Nice. Uh, normally we would get like around 50 for them. But remember we have a 25% off sale going on. So $40 is pretty, pretty good. And they were listed about a week. They're from the van, man. Van pants. Uh, I have been tracking it in uh, Vendu, so I'll let you know how many van items we... <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll let you know how many van items we sell each week. <laughs> These are less than a pound, so Dan's going to put them in uh, just a regular poly mailer that we buy off Amazon. And we are going to ship them out like that. That's how we do it. 11 ounces. 11 ounces. It's that really nice summer weight wool. That's why those don't weigh a lot. Okay, the next is our favorite brand, as I know. Wait, wait. Whoa. I lied. It's not our favorite brand. This has actually got snuck in. Yep. This snuck was a in. sneaky little bugger, and I think this is over a dang pound. See, you start to feel these things. How much do we charge for shipping? Please let me know. No. Yes. Okay, April listed these. Yep. And I, maybe this was when my scale was broken. I had a broken scale for a minute. Was it fixed now? Uh, no, that scale's always been fixed. My other, the AccuTech that was not Accu, and then the kitchen scale I was using. Wait, didn't that the one that... Yeah, I dropped something and it seems to be working okay. Okay. It seems to be <laughs> Dude, I had a, I had a fumble. <laughs> pretty sure that was the one, yeah. All right, y'all need to know about this brand, and we're going to talk about the styling on these pants. These got snuck in somehow, and we're going to lose money on the shipping because we only charge $4.99. Yep. This is Isaac Mizrahi Live. This is the old uh, QVC or HSN home shopping version of Isaac Mizrahi, as far as I know. There's also a Target version to look out for. Yes. I would love to show them these pants, please. Oh. You're going just too fast for me today. This is a five pocket styling pull-on pant. That's what you call this. When it looks like jeans up here and it has like the little fake fly, that's a five pocket and there's- There's two these, on the back. Well, these are like way. not the kind of five pockets that really would be here. So I might be kind of wrong. I'm sorry. I thought these had the jeans pockets like jeans pockets but they don't so i might not call it i will call this a jegging there you go i will call it a pull on jegging and it is a twill fabric because a regular legging is not a twill so people need to know it's twill it's thicker that's why it weighs over a pound yeah. twill is the same material it's we talked about this last time but it has the diagonal through it you know what i'm saying get in there with those show them that twill real quick we got new people they need to know you know a twill Oh, look at that fuzz. Oh, that's nice, though. Can you let me roll that? <laughs> it's like a microscope. It gets in there. I can't see it. Oh, yeah, I can. All right. Everything we sell has fuzz on it. I don't know why. Um, so we'll lose three bucks on shipping these because we're going to have to put them into a padded flat rate envelope. They are going to Georgia. Um... I'm just saying you might want to check a Tyvek. You okay. know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. We're, we're having to get new shipping options because they took away our regional boxes, which were our absolute favorite. Anyway, these Isaac Mizrahi live pants, which we don't normally pick up ever, sold for $15 plus $4.99 shipping. And that was an offer that I had sent out. 
but since April, she's our assistant that takes pictures sometimes. She had already taken pictures, so we were already invested. So I just decided to list them and see how they do. <clears throat> the title was Isaac Mizrahi Live Women's Plus Size 18W Tall Black Trouser Pants. Oh, they were an 18W tall. Okay. Um, that's interesting. I wonder how I listed these. There's not a good way to list a plus size and a tall on any of the platforms. I've tried it before. I would be interested to go back and look at the listing and see what I ended up doing. So, so what we're going to do is type this in. We're going to weigh it and see. By 11 .6, one pound, three ounces. We'll see what happens. Eight eighty-two. So, so it's more is, than the padded. Pad cheaper. We could also put it in a. Um, you know, what we should do put it in a paper. Some people yeah. always suggest that, and we we automatically pull down the padded because it's easier. And it looks better, but when you're paying fifteen dollars for a pair of pants, yeah. maybe saving the fifty cents or whatever it is on the paper is worth it since we undercharge for shipping. True. And the reason I thought of that was because of viewer comments. Thank you guys. Somebody was like, "Use the paper ones." We we're like, "Ah, we have them." course we should use them they're just the uh not padded the how do you call it flat rate and below flat rate <laughs> i think it's seven some 780 or something okay okay next is our favorite brand this is eileen fisher yeah, yeah. 7163 and these are the eileen fisher women's size 12 navy organic 100 percent linen flat front pants crop cuff we listed these two days ago yes they sold boom, boom. done bye good two days ago there's no way uh, seven one this is yeah this is the i thought these were the blue pants we listed from the van no. Are they not? They're not van pants? What, oh, not we're at seven four. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. We listed very similar pants in a size 12. I'll tell you that right now. Let me tell you when they were listed. <laughs> then do. Uh, we love selling Eileen Fisher. Linen is great. It does command a higher price, particularly in Eileen Fisher. So don't sell yourself short. 7163. Estate sale pants. Van pants? No, nope, garage is still. Yeah. Garage estate sale. Oh, okay. We paid more. The same estate sale, different day. Okay, so this price is right. Right. These Van. Were 659. Van is 350. Yes, exactly okay. right. Okay. okay. Anyway. Woo. <laughs> Get out of our business meeting. These were listed one month ago on January 30th. All right, 10 ounces. All right. <laughs> All right, the next is our other favorite brand to sell. And it's our favorite brand because it sells. Yeah, it moves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Lafayette 148. I need to talk to you guys about something. We need to have a frank discussion. Oh, here we go. I haven't watched YouTube in a while. But when I was watching re Reseller YouTube, the common consensus was that skirts don't sell. Okay. I want you to know that in the last 24 hours, I've sold three black pencil skirts people wear skirts regular old black pencil skirts like nothing special i have sold three of them i think the brand and the quality matter one of them was chanel they haven't oh. paid yet uh the other was this lafayette 148 and another lafayette 148 both black pencil skirts so let's talk about what a black pencil skirt is let's do it because you know what those other resellers aren't picking up skirts so you can go get them you can em. go nab them <laughs> go to the skirt section and nab them this sold for thirty dollars it was Lafayette 148, New York, women's size 12, pencil skirt, black, knee length, career new. This is new at tags. So we probably should have gotten more money for it. However, this is a Ponte knit, which is great for a pencil skirt because it's got stretch, baby. Uh, pencil skirt is this. It's like a rectangle. It's very, very straight, and it ends right above the knee. We talked about it has dual vents in the back, which make walking very nice and comfortable. We need to office hose that. There's If you get a little, like, white dust just take a pair of tights and we call them office hose around here and then it just comes right off it's no big deal deodorant comes right off any kind of surface dust or see boom done we keep a pair of tights at all times in here and we get them at the bins yep 
cool. And this is a dual vent, so this is something you could use in your description. This is really great for walking. When it has one here, you kind of have to like waddle. <laughs> dual. You got you got multi leg function. <laughs> du dual leg functionality. <laughs> Love it. So that sold for 30 and um, I think it should be $4.99 shipping because it's less than a pound, even though it's Ponty. Probably right on the edge. Yeah. If it was a pant, it definitely would be over. Ponty net is so heavy. Um, if you don't like the word Ponty like me, you could also call it a four-way stretch. That's what it used to be called. Then Ponty got trending. I don't know. This was listed 7192 at the same time, 7192. Uh, we got this at the same estate sale, garage estate sale. And um, what, what do we have into that? 659. 659. And it was listed February 1st. Anything that sells in less than 60 days is amazing. Especially for a basic that people just, like, I don't pick up basics. Well, people need stuff to wear. <laughs> right? Yeah. 14. All right. The next is the brand that's been moving for us like wildfire recently. I'm telling you, man. Peter Millar. And these are, these literally were listed two days ago or yeah. today or yesterday or something. Yeah. Peter Millar, size 30, 30, crown crafted stone stealth performance trouser, trouser khaki knit pant. Khaki pant, not knit. Woo! Woo! These are 30, 30, which is a smaller size for dudes, but still they are small dudes who need khakis. Right. Uh, Peter Millar is a great brand for khakis or anything golf related. Golfing. I'm, I'm actually shocked that the comps on these pants weren't higher because this is the crown crafted, which is like the really, really nice Peter Millar. Mm, okay. They did sell very quickly. We priced them competitively, and it was on sale. They sold for thirty three seventy one in maybe two days. Yeah, because I've got that crown crafted cardigan. We're gonna have to replace the buttons on it, but it's worth like a hundred something bucks. Wow. Pre owned. All right, this is twelve ounces. <clears throat> okay, the next is 7424. We listed this yesterday. This is Lafayette 148, women's size medium, button front, tunic length, shirt, fuchsia, cotton, stretch. It sold for 20 bucks. Nice. And it's a little bit low. We do keep the, um, what are these called? All dryer sheets. Dryer sheets. Free and clear. <laughs> no smell. They do kind of have a smell. It's called free and clear. I don't know. It's clear. And anyway, um, these had a little bit of like a... They still kind of do. It's not bad. It's not mothballs. It just feels like it's been in storage for a hot minute. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They got a little storage smell, so we just put that in there. If it sits long enough, it does help, but these only set for... Like a day. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's so, the old one. Yeah, it's either old or new. I, <laughs> I sure. think I think this label is old, but it looks new because this block text is in again. Yeah. I don't know. All right, hold this up for me. We know this is a tunic. Oh. This has got to be washed. Does it have to go out today? It has toothpaste. I can see it. Oh. I have to wash it. Um, expected by April 3rd, so yes, I believe that's... Nah. Well, we can get away with it. I mean, we can print the label. No, but I, I don't think this sold. I did, it sold yesterday? I switched our ta time table. Yeah, this just has like toothpaste. Yeah. I know exactly what it is. Um, let me tell you about it. It's only going to New Mexico, so even if we ship it, like, scan it, or just, I'll print the label today, and I won't, I won't scan it and drop it until tomorrow. Let's talk about this hot tip that we're talking about, this little hack. Yeah. It's not tricking, but it kind of is tricking, but it's not in a bad way. It's if your package arrives on time. Yeah. So since this is going to New Mexico, which is like a neighboring state. Yeah. It'll get there on It'll time. It'll definitely get there on time. So you just have to print the label and make sure... I, we would never do this if it was, like, two or three days down the line. But yeah. in a case like this, it will still get there on time. We won't get a ding. It's fine. Yep. I do want to tell you about this shirt, though, because we're not going to feature it in another video, probably. This is a popover. Okay. Uh, and we know that because it, it only buttons to here. These are called concealed buttons, which make it really nice. This is just a flat collar. Some people would call this a mandarin, but I don't 
I don't think we would go that far here. Uh, this is a tunic because it's got a rounded hem here and these, so it has an opening here. So sometimes this is really nice because this is like a, a um, gusset, right? That's this word. It's this thing that allows something to move and open. You can normally have a gusset in your sleeve like that, but this is really good because then you can wear like leggings and you have room for your legs to move. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So that's why we know this is a tunic and not a shirt. Cool. Yeah. It has roll cuffs. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wash it. Gotta wash it. We do not wash things from estate sales. Typically, we do put them in the heater, but we don't wash them because it's coming out of someone's closet on a hanger. Yeah. Like it's, you don't hang up dirty clothes normally, normally right? Correct. Thrift store, you don't know because you could just pick it up off the floor and put it into a trash bag. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. The theory coat is up next. This is a nice coat. Yes, it is. We took a lower offer on on this because, <sighs> you know. It's the yeah. end of the season and we've had it a while. Actually, I'm going to tell you how long we've had it. But this coat is so nice. How much do we have into this coat? Uh, it says $12.81. Yeah, I can see you paying it. I can that. see that. Four, six, five, four. Four, six, five, four. Yeah, this is super nice. Okay, so the title is Theory Men's Size Extra Large Belvin Leadership Overcoat Eclipse Wool Blend Jacket. It's really nice. It's like a long overcoat. It's wool. Got concealed buttons. Uh-huh. Super nice. Um, this was listed, we had it listed for 224 originally. Like, yeah. It did not move. It was listed in October of 2022, which, you know, it's been listed five months. It's not terrible but it is big and we are low on space and someone was back and forth with us a million times we finally settled on 65 dollars which isn't the best flip but it's going to a new home and we don't have to wait till next season to sell it yeah we had to be honest i had already relisted it down to the point where it was like 80 dollars. so it wasn't we took a 65 dollar offer on a 224 dollar jacket i had it was significant maybe it was like a hundred it was significantly less and we set it on 65 and the person really wanted it and i'm happy for them to get a good deal yeah me too and again whatever we're still making a profit yeah this is you going never, to la you never know when we would have gotten the next offer on it if ever we hadn't gotten any offers on it right so that's what it's worth then right we talk about that all the time it's worth what somebody will pay for it and our minimum is like 90 days we're doing good but that was over 90 days and it wasn't moving and it was in the heart of winter. Like it should have moved if it was gonna go. So 65, yay. All right, before I tape this shut, let me. Yeah, we gotta try some different methods cause so it's going to LA. 12.3 by 2.9 by 13.7. Three pounds, five ounces. This might be better going UPS. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna check right now. Y'all, if you're not using UPS or utilizing UPS for your heavier items, especially clothing, people don't think UPS and clothing, you know, it's not normal, but... What did I say the weight was? 3.5. 3.5 dimensions, 12.3... 2.9, 13.7. 13.7? Yep. That's 12.52 UPS ground, 15.53 priority. So we only charge 12.99 for this probably, right? Yep. yep. So, so it needs to go UPS. Cheaper. Uh, we should bring in some of those boxes that we have in the garage. I think we have some clothing size. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good for UPS size things. So, we wouldn't normally do this, but it's three bucks. We've got time today. Might we, as well. Do we have time? Save the three bucks. Yeah. Okay. It's, only, it's not even three o'clock yet. We installed a dishwasher. Yeah, we are we like did. handy. Nancy's over here. I was getting ready to rip the counter apart, the cabinet apart. I was like, I gotta get to the back of this thing. I had to intervene, y'all. Said no, good no. Thing, good thing. Sir, good thing you, you were out of line. You think I can get it to fit in this? Oh, yeah. That's perfect. I love those size Amazon boxes. I just oh, like perfect. a glove. It actually might be cheaper. It might be cheaper. Because that other box you had it in was a honker. And the Amazon boxes, you guys, if you reuse them, oh, they are lighter weight. They say, this was made with less material. Thank you. So sometimes it saves you money on the, the weight as well. We put a, 
a note on next door and they just drop boxes off on our porch almost every day it's so good except it gets a little bit like because you have to go through them and break them all down and measure them and we get behind on it i'll just cover it very behind on it but you don't want a something with a horse what you what? don't you don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> I was almost, I always want to say kick a horse. It's not that. You're, you're conflating that and beating a dead horse. Oh, yeah. You don't want to beat your horses. <laughs> if they're alive or dead, no beating of horses. I'm real bad at idioms, if you haven't figured that out yet. But Dan's great at them, and so he helps me. Let me get the new measurements on this guy and the new weight. Do a little better tape job here. I'm not really a fan of it. Oh, we haven't talked about it in a while. We have all these new subscribers. We have what silent have we tape and a tape. silent tape gun. It's amazing. <laughs> you can get it on Amazon. It's linked below. I think it's linked below. Should be. Right. You got to click on probably see full description or whatever, and then there's a whole a whole list of affiliate links down there. It gives us a small kickback. Yeah. I don't know, like 0.5%. I have no idea what the percentage is. It's very low, but we appreciate you anyway. Okay, so we're at 3.6 now. Oh, it's heavier. And 13 by 11 by 3.3. Okay. Okay. Next is something that we listed this week again. This came from the van and it has a flaw. And I like to talk about selling flawed merchandise because we do it all the time. Yes. This is Chico size one US eight travelers, no tummy pants, winter drift white, slinky new flaw. I put it in the title in all caps at the end so yeah. that people don't return these things. Hopefully. I want to tell you about these traveler pants because we're selling the crap out of them. Yep. These sold for $15. I know, brand new, but they're flawed. They have some color transfer at the top here. It's like pink. You can kind of see it. Like, I don't know what it's from. I, I don't no know. Idea. But this material on these traveler pants, this is white, but they normally come in black and navy and things like that. It's like super slinky. These don't get wrinkly. I think that's, they're kind of wrinkly though. I'm not going to yeah, lie to you. They are a little wrinkly. They're not supposed to get wrinkly. That's why it's called traveler because you can put it in your suitcase and travel. But these are brand new. Um, these traveler pants sell for us. They sure do. So quickly and so fast. We normally can get about 25 for them. Actual retail price, $69. $69. So people who know these pants and need another pair and they don't want to pay yep. that, even if it's on sale. I know Chico's has a lot of sales. Um, anyway, so we just listed them. The old us would not have listed these. This is true. We would have been like, oh my God, they're not pristine. No, we'll just re-donate them. Like, who's, who's that helping? Right. So, um, they sold for 15 plus shipping in one day. Eight ninety nine shipping at that. People don't care. Especially white. Somebody's probably like, I'll just bleach those. But I didn't want to do that because they were new with tags. Yeah. And, and it's on the waistband. They're probably like, my shirt will cover that, you know? And the exactly. flawed stuff often sells quicker than the not flawed stuff yeah. for us. Because yeah. it's cheaper. So, happy that these are going to a new home. Good, good pants. Are they over a pound? Normally the travelers are. Yeah. Pretty heavy. Don't use Chico stock photos. You heard it here. Don't do it. Don't do it. They'll they come will. after you. They will. Okay. Um, okay. And I know you're not surprised about the next thing. It's a soft surroundings. Hey. Um, this is really beautiful. This is the older soft surroundings tag. Okay. Soft surroundings, oh, plus size 2X, flowy, neutral blouse, mixed media top shirt. Sold for $23. And it's been, I think April listed this. I think oh, that's cool. Did. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the... You know, this looks like Eileen the Fisher. Back. There's like a hair. Hold on. Oh, you know, this could be Eileen Fisher or Lafayette 148 all day long. I think that's what soft surroundings does. They kind of like emulate designers because a lot of their stuff looks like Johnny was. Yeah, it's true. They're just like, okay, <laughs> we're going to yoink, take that. And we have a lot of Lafayette that looks like this with the 
mixed media. That's what you call it when it's one material and another material. You can say mixed media. Um, six, three, four, seven is the number. Yeah, April listed this. Well, she took the pictures of it. Um, it's been listed since December 17th of 2022. I originally had it listed at $39.95 and it ended up selling for $23. But that's okay. What did 11 that? ounces. Um, next, I picked this up at the thrift. We went to 50% off day, and I just picked it up on a feeling, and I guess the feeling turned out to be right. There's a couple of brands like this. We talk about them all the time called Bluefish, Parsley and Sage. Mm -hmm. Um, there's another one I can't think of right now, but Blue Cactus or I don't know. Uh, maybe. They look like this. <laughs> they have, like, look like somebody painted them at summer camp. I'm not judging. Okay, but there's like a huge following for shirts and dresses that look like this. I don't think the brand matters. This I, this looks like a boutique tag to me. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find many comps on the brand. So I was like, I'm going to take a chance because it looks like Bluefish. And the title was Jess and Jane Women's Plus Size 1X Long Sleeve T-Shirt Blue Abstract Art Cotton USA. It is made in the USA. So that was another factor where I was like, oh, okay, I might try this. Yeah, that's a selling feature for a lot of stuff. It sold for $27 in like three days. Okay. So I'm not sure that the brand is something to catalog in your mind, Palace, but maybe the, the style for sure. Yeah. I just have never seen that brand before. I used to see Bluefish all the time. I never picked it up. Ugh. <laughs> Why didn't someone do a video and tell me? This is your sign. Pick it up. Seven. I want you to know that all of these people in a row, Linda, Lisa, Linda, Linda, we sold three things to three different Lindas and a Lisa. Whoa. What? <laughs> If your name's Linda and you're watching this, please check in below and go buy a lottery ticket today. <laughs> Seriously. It is the day of, this is the day of Linda. It's Linda's day. Okay. Um, these again are Chico's traveler pants. Yep. These are the, um, Chico's traveler size one medium, no tummy pant, pull on dark mulberry brand new. And so these were brand new. It's Tommy's favorite color. <laughs> is it? He loved the mulberry. <laughs> This was $37.46 they sold for. So that's what the white pants could have gone for had they not been flawed. You want me to take them out of here? No, we, we've already we've already beat that horse. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say it? It's a dead horse now. What? I don't know. Well, when... Like, if, you're, if you won't stop, you know, if you're... If you keep talking about the same topic over and over and over and you won't let it go, that's yeah. beating a dead horse. Well, I already beat it. <laughs> 50 minutes. Or is, that, or is my horse already dead? I don't know. Wait, why are those less weight than the white ones? Uh, are you know. sure the white ones needed to go in a padded? Well, they paid for a padded, so they I see. No okay, all right, perfect. All right, this, everybody wanted all at the same time. I don't know, there must have been a TikTok. This thing is super cute. It only sold for $8. Uh, the thing with the strawberry? Yeah, yeah, but after it's, I got it at the bins because I had to. But after it sold, then everybody was messaging me on all the platforms. Is this available? I'm like, no, it just sold. This is there is, a ticket? No. Is that on the thing? No. Mm. It's from the bins. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I don't know about this brand, but this thing was too cute to leave. Look at these strawberries. I'm sucker for strawberries. Anyway, this was listed forever, but now it's sold for $8. I didn't know if it was worth anything. And then everyone was like, wait, I want it. And I had just sold it for $8. Great. Good job. Oh, well. Yeah. Take it. We use a ticketing system. There are many videos on our channel about how we inventory and ticket. You absolutely don't have to, but that's how we do it. If you want. Four. Oh, 
or I should use a baby poly mailer for that. Ah. I'm trying to get rid of those the ones I got at the bins. Oh, okay. These are uh, again. I talk about this every day. I feel like a broken record. That's, that's what that's... it is. A broken record, not a dead horse. <laughs> broken record. These are democracy jeans. Yep. And they're not just any. These are the only ones I pick up. They're the absolution democracy jeans with the elastic in the waistband. Yep. 100% pick them up every single time. Guaranteed sale. Yep. Um, these only sold for 15. I took an offer because it was, as we get lower in the list, it's things that when we haven't had any sales, I'll start to take low offers to boost sales. So, Democracy Absolution Women Size 8 Medium Wash Blue Denim Jeans Mid Rise Skinny. And I took $15 for these because there's a little bit of puckering. These are the jeans that Maggie sent us, I think. I think they were. In fact, I know they were. Thank you, Maggie. We sold two of the things you sent us already. You gotta take it out of the bag of something. We only charge $4.99? Mm hmm. Because they were right on like that. I'm pretty sure of it. Remember saying that I have to take them out of this. Wasting poly mailers. Dang it. All right. If you are shipping on eBay, you can write in 16 ounces and you can ship first class. Only buying your labels through eBay. There you go, 16. All right, next is finally Lafayette 148, <laughs> size 12, black wool stretch pencil skirt, vented knee length. Hey, all right. Another one. Another one. Another pencil skirt. So the internet tells you that Lafayette 148 doesn't sell and pencil skirts don't sell and black basics don't sell. All okay, three of those. Hey, wait. <laughs> I just sold for 37.46. Use your own intuition. I mean, seriously, you can watch us every day and see what actually is selling. Right. What I can't stand is people are like, brands I don't pick up anymore. I'm like, girl, get out of here. <laughs> I would never make that video because it would change in two seconds. Yep. Lafayette 148 didn't sell for us for a long time. It was real hard to move. And now it's like, shoom, 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 shoom. So you just never know. 11. You just got to figure out what's what's selling right now, what's trending. And that's why we make these videos that for every day. That is exactly correct. All right, there you go. And it's also what we have access to. So you may have some things that are selling different. And check our Facebook group because people talk about it all the time, like what's selling for them. Because if you have access to different things, stuff's selling for you that we don't even know about. So it's really good to see what's selling for people. So I can print the label. Seven. Seven. Thank you. I'm gonna put this somewhere where I'm not gonna lose it. We're like, we have a big mess on our hands. I think one day this week, maybe tomorrow, somebody in the live, actually I think it was Matt that brought up doing the 10 minute challenge at the beginning of the video. Yeah. We might have to do that and try to figure out like what to do. Some of this stuff we have to lot up and we have never really done that before. And so we might need to make lots in our 10 minute challenge. So we can get this stuff listed. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing each night is bringing in a bag from the van. So you kind of, it's kind of like a mystery unboxing at the same time as yeah. we're listing. It's very entertaining because we don't know what's in the bags. No idea. Last night was a good bag. Sometimes it's not so good. Last night was a good one. I'm not sure. I don't think we're going to make our goal today, but we sold some, we had some okay things can't be mad, you know, at least stuff's moving. <clears throat> yeah. 
And the volume's picked up a little bit, which is good. You out of labels? I am out of labels, yes. We just have so many unpaid. Six right now. From today. Six items in purgatory. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, we use the Bet Key labels from Amazon. They're generic for our Dymo 4XL label writer. We've had that for, we've had the Dymo for at least four years. We have one. Who, who are we going to send it to? Mm. I remember that was supposed to happen, I think. It doesn't have a power supply, though. Is that what it does? No, it doesn't. We found one at the Goodwill, yeah. but it doesn't have the power. Are we getting low on those labels? I'm gonna have to order more soon. Okay, are we ready? I'm ready. This is the 7174. Fuck, 714, they're like so close. Skipping? Yeah, it had a hand. A hanging, a hanging chad. <laughs> a dimpled chad. <laughs> Six, four, two, three. All these numbers look the same to me today. See, we could have put the other one in a paper. Why you keep putting padded for pants? I don't know. I'll go back to eight. Eight. As I say, the bed key works great. It skips. <laughs> Whoops. Seven one Jinxed. six three. Seven one nine two. Every time you hear those sevens, stuff we just listed. Yeah. It's exciting. If you hear a seven four, we listed it like yesterday. Uh, seven four one seven. See? Yeah. Quick flip. And if you hear a oh. six, something, 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 April listed it. We gave her the roll of six thousands to take home. This is the thing being lost. Seven one nine two. The theory jacket UPS. Thank you. Uh, where you at, Linda? There's so many Lindas. 7366, six, padded flat rate. 6347. Seven three four nine. Six seven four one. Three nine eight two. Seven three four zero. Seven two six five. Hooray. Yes. We did it. We did it. All right. We're gonna get all this stuff put into Vendu and see how much profit we made. Picnic. Hi. Jeremy. Hi. You guys ready? We're always ready.
What are you doing, guy? Nobody can see you over there. What are you doing, Pigman? Come on. Come here. Come here. Good boy, Jeremy. Say bye. Bye, Jeremy. Bye, Picnic. Bye. Hi. Hey. I'm still filling things into the venue, but I'm almost done. Okay. Can you show the people what we're Two, looking at. Yeah. yeah. Forty-one ninety-seven profit. Excellent. On the coat. <clears throat> that was like our highest profit thing. We had a uh, yeah, that's some great. I mean, and we took a quote-unquote really low offer on it. Yeah. And it had a relatively high cost of goods too. Cost of goods three sixty. Marketplace fees three forty-seven eight thirty. Almost everything again sold promoted. Eight sixty-two on the flawed Chico's pants that we would have formerly donated. Um, the promotions, we promote about 8%. It's killing us right now. Yeah. You have to, though. There's, you have to. 27 dollars 46 614 fees, five seventeen, sixteen twenty two on the soft surroundings. So these are low profit, but they all do add up, you know, eventually. Yep. 7349 Marcus sold so fast. Thirty one ninety nine cost of goods one ninety nine marketplace fees four twenty five four thirty one shipping twenty one forty four on that little pickup the little art t shirt okay okay that's twenty dollar bill yeah right it was just sitting there waiting for us pick it up traveler pants forty fifty eight all in six fifty nine for those marketplace fees were nine twenty three six twenty two to ship. 1854 profit. Another $20 bill basically just sitting there. Yep. So you sell five pairs of Chico's Traveler's Pants, you've made 100 bucks. Yeah. $39.82. I'd, I'd rather have higher profits than that. Sure. I mean, this one's going to be really low. 12. <clears throat> 12. This is the little baby thing. I would sell a ton of baby clothes. I get roped in at the bins, though. I can't. I, mm. What am I doing? What am I doing? Three, three ninety-seven. I can't talk and do this. Five oh three. Okay. Five dollar bill though. Yep. Okay. Seven three four zero. Thank you, Maggie. Appreciate you. Nineteen ninety nine. Cost of goods. Nothing. Marketplace fees two seventy seven. Six forty four. Ten seventy eight. Right there. Just sitting there. The fill a bag. Seven two six five. Pencil skirt. I'm gonna look at the estate sale after this. Okay. To see how much we've made off that. 1962 profit, and then our Poshmark sale. Do do a shipping discount on Poshmark. Twenty seven ninety eight. Not bad. Profit. Okay, let's see what we did for the day. So we go back here. We go to analytics. We go to today. Two sixty four in profit. Okay. Five oh three in sales. This number, this gap is widening because of our sale and because of promotions. Yep. Yep. Fourteen items today mm -hmm. went out and um. 
Yeah, you didn't include that Lafayette shirt, right? Right. Okay, so if we go back here, let's look at the month to date. Mm -hmm. Month is $7,163 in profit so far, and we still have a couple more days. Okay. We're trying to get to 9000 <laughs> not sure that's going to happen, yeah. but it's pretty good. Let's go custom and go back to December through today. And we're going to look at our labels here. So we did this garage estate sale and we paid six fifty nine for everything. Let it catch up. Um, we still have 136 of those items for sale, but we've sold 57 and made 1361. So we're into the profit already. We paid 1200 total. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so every single one of these 136 that sells is going to be pure profit from that sale. So that's great. Yeah. Good to see there. Yep. Yeah. But now we just got to sell these 136 items. Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, you want to check in on, uh, what else are we checking in on? April? Let's check in on April. Go, April, go. $5,196 she's made us in profit, and 281 of her items have sold, and there's still 622 more to sell. That's All right, awesome. let's check on the van. We just started listing van stuff. Three. <laughs> <laughs> we have sold three van stuffs. Three van stuffs. 53 profit. Three vans. That's what we have sold. And then our first estate sale ever was this one called, is it July estate? I think it's just estate sale. I think it, I think so. Nah, it can't be. No. no. No, no, no. What is it? Ooh, why is this messed up? Something's messed up here. We've sold way more than 12 of those yeah. Raffler and St. John. <clears throat> oh, here's the plus size. I don't know why these are messed up. Something's not. Oh, 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 it's, it's the time frame. Yes. Death. So the plus size haul, that's when we started in December. Well, maybe it was, hold on, hold on guys, hold on. November, this one's good. This was the one with all the, we had Johnny Was and soft surroundings and Chico's and it was all plus size, remember? Yes. And we paid $700. I think that's what we paid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We turned that $700 already into $5,000. Remember, this is profit. Right, that's cost of goods and fees and everything taken out. Yeah, so we're doing okay on that one. And there's still 282 more items to sell. That's awesome. Man, if we could just sell everything all the yeah. time. Go, know, right? sell, <laughs> buy, gosh. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. Yep. And we'll see you live listing on the other channel, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Come and hang out. Come see what's in the van. See what's in the van. <laughs>